All right, today we're going to install the Digitrax PR3 onto a, a new laptop that I just got. And so I use this to program uh, Digitrax decoders with. And so I want to go through this setup and show how uh, I've hooked this thing up or how it gets hooked up. And so what I've got is I've got my uh, PR3. I've got it on a, this is a little test track that I've got. It's just about a 12 inch piece of HO scale track. And also I've got a, a, a Loke programmer and a uh, ESU, a Loke uh, decoder tester on this. That's what this is right here. So, but right now we're just interested in the uh, PR3. So what we're going to do is, and while, I, while I'm doing this, I'm trying to record this, uh, screenshot this on, on this laptop. So that way we can see what's going on. So right now, what I need to do is I'm going to plug the power in. And the power is right over here on this side. Uh, so we'll plug that in. And that gives us some, I don't know if you can, right there you can see there's some LEDs and they start flashing. And since I don't have the uh, USB cable hooked up, that's why I'm getting that error on that. So now I'll take my USB, I've already got it connected to the computer. So I'm going to plug that in. And you heard that connect. So now we've got our system lights flashing and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the uh, Digitrax website to their downloads page uh, www.digitrax.com backslash downloads backslash and that this will get you all the information you need and for your downloads and updates and everything so what we'll do is we'll move on down to our uh, software so we've got our PR3 firmware which is uh, 2014 and then we've got our here's our instructions PR3, PR4 installation instructions. And if you look at the PR4, it's no different than the PR3. Uh, now, when I bought this PR3, it came with a CD to install the drivers. But since I've bought it, Digitrax has taken the, uh, the drivers for Windows 10 and they've put them on their website so I can download the driver that I need for right here so and it's hopefully this will coordinate and I'm pointing it out right now so I've got that highlighted I've got everything hooked up I'm gonna hit uh, I'm gonna download it and uh, I do want to run it so we'll let that we'll let our software or drivers load up and of course this is going to depend on how fast your connection is I don't have the greatest of internet as you can tell this is only a 14.4 meg file and it's taken well you see how long it's taken so so now we'll go through and I'll let it, I'll do what my instructions on the screen say. So it's going to start installing. So we'll bring our install program up. And yeah, I'll agree with that.
with that because if you don't agree with it, well, you're not going to get the software. Anyway, and that's where I'll keep it. Okay, so now we're up to our wizard. We'll keep going. And we'll agree to that. We'll install that. And really what you're seeing, <laughs> you're not really seeing anything. Except for hopefully the screen. So, we'll finish that. Our sound loader is uh, is in. Uh, let me check this, and yeah, here's our sound loader. Uh, well, I'll have to set up the COM port. We'll go to that. Okay. And basically, that is our install for the PR3. Right now, we're ready to, uh, we can put a uh, locomotive on there and we could. Uh, test that we could pull up CVs uh, let me just get one here real quick I should have had this set up so you can see how easy it is to install uh, the program let me just set this locomotive on the track Alright, now, and it's already started. It's reading the decoder information. And so instead of, uh, let me let me pull this up. We'll get the info, information from this decoder. And as you can see, it's reading it again. And it, it'll take just a few minutes to, to read that. Okay, we've read our decoder information that you can see on the screen here. Let's uh, go up here and, and try a sound test. And every, every time you switch uh, the screens here, it, it reads it again. So, so there you can you can hear that and that's really as far as I'm going to go with that but uh, you, you can hear the locomotive the programmer is working now so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this here and this was really my intent was just to show how easy it is to, to hook up the PR3 and get started with it. So if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below and uh, we'll see you in the next video.